Hey what's up guys Johnny here I'm back with more Shadow Gun Legends I've been uploading some PvP videos lately and a lot of comments in the videos were can you show your build can you show your skill tree can you show your armor and the perks how are you doing that much damage I'm not doing that much damage with the same weapon so in today's video we look at the whole build we're gonna go one by one all my pieces of armor I use and why I'm gonna show you my perks I'm gonna show you the skill tree and what skills I use in each game mode. So let's start with the armor, guys. Now, first of all, I'm an AR user. It's personal preference. I like ARs in PvP. Some guys will like shotguns more. Some guys will like SMGs. But when you select your gloves, it's important to pick the right gloves and even the right legs usually to go with your primary weapon in PvP. So I like Nico. And once again, you don't need to use Nico to do good with ARs because it's not even the top AR for PvP. There's a lot of good options. Not that long ago, the legendary weapons had a little bit of a damage boost in PvP, but this is gone. So you can use epic weapons and you'll do as good. So go with your favorite ones. I know the Shadow is a really good one because it's got high damage. Fire Fist Pure is also really easy to farm. And Nordic Guard, really accurate weapon with great range, is also another good choice. The low damage fast fire rate Skull Blaster and Big Eagle Storm are also decent choices. Of course, there's other good epic weapons for PvP, but they are previous event weapons and no longer obtainable. And uh, yeah, it's personal preference, but like I said, I like ARs. Shotguns are really good right now for uh, the reason that we deal low damage. And it's easy to get in people's face so let's go with the gear guys and once again you don't have to use legendary armor because there's no advantage anymore so you need to go with the gear with the best perks it doesn't matter the rarity again it's the perks that make good armor i have plenty of videos and posts about that and there's no excuse not to know that in 2019 so let's go with the shoulders for pvp you go for the damage okay there's no reason to use loot percentage or selling you have to go with triple crit when people ask where can i find triple crit shoulders it doesn't drop in a specific location okay triple crit or any perks in fact are totally random so you can drop shoulders anywhere in the game you can drop shoulders in voltaic fist bronze arena silver arena gold arena uh, even in missions okay but the perks will be random and you just need to be lucky and find triple crit you can find triple crit shoulders if you look at the shop every refresh look at big red there was triple crit shoulders there in the past and look at nitro shop always have war points in stock because if you see a great item you need to be able to buy because it's gonna be gone in less than six hours a lot of guys got their triple crit shoulders at nitro by the way now the gloves i use assault rifle gloves because i use assault rifles so i got seven percent damage with assault rifles and 15 percent crit the pickup radius is a dead perk but it was my favorite uh, ar gloves i used to have eight percent damage and two percent for total of 10 with no crit so once again it's pretty close depends if you hit more crit if you hit the back if you hit the head uh, once again get good gloves you can check the shops every refresh and you can farm gloves in dungeons now if i'm going to play shotguns i will go with my shotgun gloves i got the same thing seven percent damage with shotguns and 15 crit but again it's legendaries but if i use ar i don't use my legendary gloves i use my epic gloves because they got the right perks if I use shotguns, I'll go with these gloves because they got the right perks for the shotgun. Now for the body armor, it's not a secret. You're looking for as high as possible on the HP. So you will look for triple HP perks on your chest. It's very rare. It's hard to find. But with time, pretty much everyone has a triple HP chest. Now, if you're new to the game, uh, yeah, it doesn't roll very often because of the purple perk. Purple perks are rare and uh, they don't roll often so once again check nitro shop a lot of guys got their triple hp from nitro phantasm fertilizer bulldozer the nitro shop have sets that will last for many weeks and once in a while they will roll with good perks but once again you need to have the war points available to buy right now my legs is it's not a good example of good pvp legs for my build it's shotgun clip and i don't use shotgun but it's good when I use shotguns. However, I got 15% crit damage, which is the highest possible roll. I got high melee resistance, which is not that great for PvP. 
usually you look for ammo on the legs you look for high crit and ammo for your primary or secondary but i don't use my secondary much i could use other legs i have other legs but uh, these are my favorite ones so i use these and now the boots is a tough piece of gear to have perfect rolls but you're looking for high crit high cooldown and high explosion resistance uh, explosion resistance in pvp is pretty important you take a lot of damage from grenades and rocket launchers which are really popular in pvp so if you have high explosion resistance you have a much better chance to survive explosions uh, by taking less damage so that's it for the armor guys once again don't care about rarity care about the perks the perks make the best gear for now in the current meta unless they do balance change later but you got to go with your best perks because legendaries look cool but they don't give you a better chance to win now last thing how am i doing that much damage with my nico well that's another thing it's not just the armor but i got extra ar damage on my uh gloves and i have a lot of crit damage on all my gear but there's something else before i go play pvp i usually go in the bar to grab some buffs now when you go in the bar and you wait a little bit after a few seconds you will receive a random buff out of three possible different buffs you have elite damage buff you have damage buff and you have projectile resistance buff so the two perks you're looking for are damage and projectile resistance so you wait for your first perk if it's something that you want i just got projectile resistance then you keep it and you wait for the next one if it's a perk that you don't want and you want to erase it you will talk to sarah and you will drink a plum brandy Plum Brandy will erase your most recent perk and then I usually drink Detox right after because you don't want to be tipsy or drunk. So you see I just lost my last perk or my last buff sorry guys and I will receive another one right away. See I got the same so I would be ready to go. I got projectile resistance for 29 minutes and I got a 9% damage boost for 29 minutes. So here's the thing guys that makes a difference if you use or if you don't use buffs you will do more damage and you will take less damage and same thing if your opponent use or don't use buffs you will also do more damage to someone that doesn't use projectile resistance so when you watch my videos and you see different numbers could be different things i got the gloves I got the crit damage i use buffs and maybe some of my opponents did not use buffs now we'll go over the build and the skills if you have any question about the armor the gear whatever uh, leave a comment below i usually read everything i'll try to answer and if i don't usually other people will answer but this is my pvp build and it didn't change i have previous videos about the best builds in the game the meta did not change much uh they did not touch the skill tree since my last video so 839 is still my favorite pvp build it's one of the most balanced build in the game and it's a very popular build among pvp players for a few reasons first of all uh, y3 in combat is because of the markman skill you get 15 percent accuracy so accuracy uh, when you shoot bullets with your weapon it will do a, a cone and when you have high accuracy the cone is smaller so your bullets will go where you want them to go more often if you have low accuracy the bullets will fly up down left right and you will hit your target less often especially from long range especially if you try to hit the head so high accuracy is important on your weapon and on your skill tree is gonna help the rest doesn't matter much okay the extra ammo is not the magazine okay it's ammo you can carry it doesn't really matter in pvp and the sentry gun is okay but not my favorite skill then you have access to iron sight damage extra damage again when you aim down sight if you do 8 agility is uh, the base of a lot of builds agility means all the movement skills the movement passive you run faster you move faster you reload faster and you reload when you sprint so it does make a difference in pvp it's a skill game and the more movement skills you have it gives you a better chance to escape to move to dodge um, and yeah catch your opponent if he's running away from you but once again in the agility tree you have the am bomb so it's another reason to play a lot of points in agility am bomb is pretty good in team pvp and then nine survival a lot of good pvp builds use high survival points because you get 
the melee resistance, which is not that good in PvP, but it's good in PvE. You get projectile resistance. Now the biggest thing though, and you don't need nine, but you need eight, is flight jacket. And that is super good. It's 25% explosion resistance. 25 plus the explosion resistance on your boots. It's gonna be 30 plus, 30 to 35% explosion resistance so if you get big hits from grenades and rocket launchers remove 30 percent of the damage and yes you will survive now of course the basic stuff extra health and extra auto heal and the survival kit which is really really op right now since they nerfed the damage from the weapons if you stand in the survival kit and you get shot you almost don't die and deflector skin is a really good skill in pvp so what skills i use if I do 1v1 duels, I always go with Deflector Skin and EMP, okay? Uh, EMP is a tricky skill to use. The more you use it, the more you understand how it works and the strategy behind it. Uh, there's a lot of strategy uh, and there's an advantage to using it. If you drop it first, your opponent cannot drop EMP. So you can use your Deflector Skin if you need, but your opponent cannot use Deflector Skin. So if you have the edge in the battle, he cannot escape that, but you can. The other reason is it counters blink. It is the blink killer. When you have EMP, your opponent cannot use blink. So you try to use it in your opponent's zone. If you kill your opponent, you drop the EMP and you run away. So your opponent will spawn near the EMP zone and you can go back to and, and fight close to your EMP. EMP has a super short cooldown, so you can use it multiple times in a duel. And uh, yeah, the more you'll play it, guys, you'll get better with it. Now, if I'm going to play team PvP, it will depend what game modes. But usually, Ascendancy Elimination, I like to go once again with Deflector, but AM Bomb this time. AM Bomb is much better in team PvP because you can get more than one kills. Now, if I'm going to play Capture the Flag, once again, it depends on my missions. If I have a PvP event going on and I have ongoing missions, well, if I need kills with skills, Sometimes I will go with sentry gun. So sentry gun and AM bomb will help you get more kills with the skills in one match if that's what you're trying to do and you want to do it faster. But it's not a great setup, but it's good to get the kills. If I don't need kills with skills and I just want to play and get normal kills and try to win, I will go with deflector and med kit. Deflector to escape that, uh, it's a pretty good skill. And Med kit, like I said, especially in Capture the Flag, you don't regen your full health. So it's good for the team to have people in the team with the med kit. You can stay inside and fight and you can just drop it when you try to get your health back in any situation. So good builds, good skills. You have access to a lot of stuff. 839 is a really, really good build for PvP. So that was it for my PvP build. Hope it answers all your questions. If you have more, once again, Type in the comments below. I will try to answer as fast as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.